important analysis of Dr. Eric Berg's video on why maximum Indian men have protruding pot belly. It's a very interesting and informative video on the role of herbivore versus carnivore, SIBO, H. pylori and certain very very interesting recommendations. What's good about it is that this is identified the role of refined carbs which we all know in a way that is causing this spike in Indians having a protruding pod belly. Refined carbs in terms of starches, um, also in terms of glucose, sugar and also seed oils which are very very uh, inflammatory in nature and highly processed. What the video completely misses is the quantity of carbs that Indians tend to consume. And I can understand because Dr. Eric is not an Indian and we've been living here in this country and we know what happens over here. Typically every Indian plate has two chapatis, one bowl of rice, a uh, <clears throat> little dal and uh, some vegetables and salad, two, three cucumber pieces. If they are there, they are there or they are not there. So the total quantity of carbs which is there in an Indian meal itself is between 50 to 70 percent and that quantity spikes insulin and that spike in insulin along with that heavy carb intake creates a protruding pot belly point number one quantity of carbs please get it down bhaiyo beno kitna carbohydrate le in the form of cereal usko niche leke aaiye number one tip hamari or se sham ka roti chawal band kar do agar pet if your tummy is protruding outside, just get rid of the roti or chawal which you are having in the evening. Second very important aspect of this video is the comparison between chimpanzees and gorillas and gorillas having a protruding pot belly because they are herbivores and they consume a lot of fiber. Interestingly, statistics shows that Indians consume low fiber. Indian consume low fiber. We are not the typical herbivores because of whom we are getting at a large scale into SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overload or for that matter even H. pylori. So both these points seem to be overplayed. Fiber coming in vegetable, fruits and grains is pretty useful for us but any of them creating bloating you need to discontinue and that recommendation is correct. Intermittent fasting recommendation is bang on Langanam Parama Aushadham. Fasting is one of the biggest medicine in this country. Just that most people get stuck in 16-8 or 10-14 kind of a two meal fasting and then their results plateau. So you have to keep being creative and progressive about your fasting protocols. One of the biggest no-no and all of you need to be careful about that is the recommendation for a carnivore diet because it gives you glutamine. Interestingly, you get a lot of glutamine from legumes, green leafy vegetable, nuts and even grains like quinoa. I want to specially highlight this book for the benefit of all written by a bariatric surgeon after many surgeries which clearly says that get out of the protein obsession because our obsession with meat is killing us. On a carnivore diet, you are going to attract a lot more of cholesterol, acid and inflammation which itself will create insulin resistance and that will spike up the insulin creating pot bellies. So enough non-vegetarians also have pot bellies. Also, from an evolutionary perspective, Indians tend to have a specific genetic response called the thrifty gene response, which makes them store more energy as fat because of a lot of starvations that we have experienced. Building muscles, making them strong, hitting the gym has been missed by many Indians and that is also a very very important cause which has got missed out on this video. So in summary, India being a land of festivals and sweets and so many sweet shops and 
bakery products and refined food available easily online and home delivered we have to be careful of this but what i want to point out is the daily consumption of 50 to 70 percent grains per plate is the bigger problem and if you are keen on making your protruding pot belly go inside work on the quantity of grains bring it down to 25 percent this particular video is pretty educative and informative let's take the best of it and just leave the rest